Hey guys, I hope you're all having a good day. Today I'm going to be talking about a TV show called Zeke and Luther. Wait, don't tell me, dude, you won't believe what happened. Yes, no, maybe, don't forget that I'm a genius. Are you crazy? Someone could be listening to us. Wait, don't tell me, not again. Would you just calm down? Is there a problem? Let's get a pizza. And people like like nothing ever happened. Calm down, it's only Tuesday. We'll get a pizza and hope that no one overheard us talking. Calm down, cause I'm a genius. It's only Thursday. And by tomorrow we'll have everything just fine. And before you guys like freak out on something and say, Dante, why are you talking about a TV show? Man, 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 man. This show is about skateboarding. And I know that my channel's most of the parts strictly skateboard. I do other stuff now and then. I basically do what I want. But besides the point today, I'm going to talk about this TV show called Zeke and Luther. It actually is a Disney show that actually used to, uh, uh, used to, they used to show it on Disney XD. And if you're a bit confused and don't know anything about Disney XD, they are, th they are what? Wait, there are three, um, Disney, uh, chat, Disney, uh, channels on, um, TV and stuff like that. There was on, uh, on, uh, the, what is it, um, what is it called? Is it South African, um, what is it called? What is it called? On DSTV, which is like a South African, um, uh, a cable for TV, show, TV in South Africa. And besides the point, there was three. There was Disney Channel, which everyone probably knows about. There was Disney, um, XD, which is the one that, uh, Zeke and Luther used to be shown on. And there was, um, Disney Junior. So Disney Channel basically showed like all the Disney shows, well most of them, the more like sitcoms and like some cartoons and stuff now and then and stuff like that. Disney uh, XD had some of its own original shows and stuff like that, like Zeke and Luther, Kicking It, and I think, and Lab Rats and all stuff like that. And also showed a lot of reruns and like shows that didn't like, pro it, showed a, it showed a lot of reruns from like shows that didn't like do well on um, Disney Channel or um, show a lot about um, or shows, or shows, shows that didn't do well in Disney Channel and stuff like that. And Disney Junior was basically just a Disney. Ch I never watched Disney Junior. I like, probably saw it like once or twice. But they they were basically it was basically a TV channel for like little kids and like babies and toddlers and stuff like that. So like those, those kind of shows. But besides the point, let's go into this show. So what I'm going to talk about Zeke and Luther is how did if Zeke and Luther helped uh, skateboarding like, like showing stuff about it, how did it help skateboarding and stuff like that. So yeah, let's basically get right into it. So if you don't know the show, you've never watched it before. Zeke and Luther is about these two guy, two two best friends named Zeke and Luther, and they and they're like skateboarding, and their goal is to become a professional skateboarder. So in every episode, they basically um go out skating and like talk about skateboarding and just be skateboarders and stuff like that. So that's basically what the whole show is about. And there's some other stuff now, and they're basically them living life as teenage as teenage skateboarders and stuff like that. So that's basically it. So yeah, that's basically the show, and yeah, the show was very good, I personally enjoyed it. And why I think that the show did well is like it helped a lot of kids get into skateboarding, because it actually really helped, and like, yeah. And I also gotta give, gotta give props to Disney here, because they're like one of the only uh, uh, people I know that made a uh, strictly uh, skateboarding show. Give her props to Disney, yeah! So yeah, props to Disney for making a show about skateboarding. But besides the point, like the show was good and stuff. I really enjoyed it. Some stuff that I didn't like about that show was like it basically um one thing. But you guys, this might ruin your childhood. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I got something stuck in my throat. Cause I just I just ate a biscuit or something before I filmed this. Ugh, but besides the point, this might ruin your childhood. If this was like your show was like your favorite TV show when you were a kid, and this was like your childhood and stuff like that. I don't know why I'm putting it in quotes, but this was your childhood. Besides what, um, that's what I'm gonna say. The actors that were that were in the show weren't the ones skateboarding. And block your ears if you heard that. Block your ears before I said that. Just go like this. Or pause the video or skip. I don't know. But there's people in that show that that <clears throat> that biscuits getting annoying in my throat. <clears> throat> I need water, guys. drink of water. Now my throat feels better without that biscuit crumb stuck in or whatever it was. Hopefully I won't be coughing anymore. Like, uh, uh, uh. But I was going, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about the actors. You're the actors. So the actors in the show weren't the ones that are actually skateboarding in the show. Which kind of disappointed me when I heard that. But you know, it's basically is what it is, you know. Like, Disney is such a big company and, well, 
no, that, that actually nothing to do with how big company is you made the show. This actually had to do with basically because um you know Disney is a big. Right, why am I talking about Disney? Okay, so so it's kind of ho probably hard for them to find a guy who acts and can skate. So that's why they had to do a stunt double. But basically, what I'm saying is Disney could have like taught the actors how to skate or get someone to teach them or you know hire someone that's skating. But it's probably hard to do. That kind of explains why they only filmed their feet in the. In when they were skating half the time, maybe it just could have looked cool. It kind of did, I think. But what I'm gonna say is, is the skating in the show actually was seriously good, in my opinion. So yeah, here is actually a, here is some of the skating in the show that. All the skaters in Pacific Terrace play a game called the Dozens. Basically, when one skater hits a trick, the other skaters have to follow suit. The winner is the guy who nails the trick that nobody else can do. Ah, ah, yeah. oh. Nose willy. So yeah, that skating was actually seriously good in my opinion. And yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna say is that it was seriously good. And guys, skate memes made a meme about this Insta about this show. And if you don't know what skate memes is, it's an Instagram account on Instagram that does skate there's, there's, there's memes about skateboarding and skits about skateboarding and just cool funny stuff like funny stuff like that. And here's the meme that they did. And yeah, that's pretty much the meme. And it basically says, "Don't wear a Thrasher or or Supreme if you don't know." Don't know about this, um, these guys, and it just shows them that, which is kind of true because probably like a lot of people started skateboarding because of this show. I know about like a lot of people, I know about a lot, a lot, a lot of people that started skateboarding because of this show. Probably like hundreds and thousands of kids started skateboarding because of this TV show. Anyway, that probably makes sense because you know, it's skateboarding on sh TV and stuff like that. They only did three seasons of the show, which isn't a lot of seasons if you think of it, compared to like The Simpsons that did 29 seasons. You know, something like that. They actually got a pro in the show once. They got Tony Hawk on the show once, which Tony Hawk. <laughs> oh my gosh! Size thirteen shoes. Uh, you love swamp bass, right? Wow! Not many people know I love swamp bass. Look, uh, it's, it's actually him. Come on, turn around, say hi. <laughs> you knock that off. That was actually pretty cool. Because I always like looked up to Tony Hawk in the show and stuff like that, and I like, always idolized him in, in the show, and I always wanted to be like him, stuff like that. But Seeking Luther isn't the only um show that um I mean Disney show that Tony Hawk was in. He was also in one episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Coming through. Whoa! Do you know who you are? Tony Hawk. Yeah. Good, because that's the name I made the reservation under. <laughs> Give me some space. Are you going to do another cool trick? No, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Here, use my Schnazola 2000. <laughs> awesome. We can use your snot for our project. Ah, no, no, no. That's a waste. This is celebrity snot. We can sell it on the internet. <laughs> okay, but I'm not signing it. In the art, stuff like that. So, yeah. It was actually pretty cool, and I know Disney only did the show to make money because you know that's what lots of people do. And they they do show stuff to make money because you know you need money to survive. But they actually did something that was actually pretty cool. They actually did something called like the Zeke and Luther Downtown Skate Tour or something. Where it was actually uh it was actually partnered with uh, Quicksilver and DC Shoes. It was actually pretty cool, and I think they just went around like the world and stuff, hosting like these skate competitions and stuff like that. Which I actually checked this on on, on YouTube. It's actually pretty cool. It's basically what what it, what it was like.
seems pretty cool, but it also seems like kind of like a thing that Disney is just doing to make money, which I don't really blame them in a sense, because you know you need money to survive, like I said earlier. But it would be kind of cool if they did this for fun. They really are, I guess, because they didn't really have to do this to make money, I'm presuming, and stuff like that, yeah. Like, what I'm saying is that the show, basically, they did the show to make money, which I don't blame them for, and stuff like that. And, you know, and stuff like that, it's kind of cool, they got things all gone. But besides all that, and all that junky and stuff like that, do you honestly think that this show made people start skateboarding, because that's the whole point? In my opinion, I honestly, honestly, honestly think that lots of people started skateboarding because of the show. I am being dead serious. I think thousands and hundreds and millions of people started skateboarding because of this show. I know that I, me and my friends used to always talk about I know I personally got more into skateboarding because of this show. Uh, this show made me super, super, super hyped about skateboarding and stuff like that. It always made me want to go skate and stuff like that. So I honestly think that yes, this show did make lots of people start skateboarding. And I remember uh, me and my friends at school used to always talk about this show. I had the skate park, always talk about it, always like, can't wait for the next episode and stuff like that. So yeah, honestly, the show didn't make lots of people start skateboarding. It's a good thing, but it's a bad thing to, I don't know, if, okay, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, but you know, I actually, one thing the show I like about the show was it was funny, and also I know a lot of people that like watched the show that didn't skateboard, they actually enjoyed it because it was like a funny show and stuff like that, it was a good comedy and good sitcom and, you know, stuff like that. So people actually watched it because it was entertaining, not because it was about the skateboarding and stuff like that. So yeah, people just watched it and and people enjoyed it, which I don't blame you. It was a good show and stuff like that. But in my opinion, the show actually when I Google the Zeke and Luther help grow skateboarding, there's no articles about that on on the internet for some reason. There are no videos about as we were made. Hey, original topic, yay! Yeah. So what I gotta say is yeah, it's just something that I thought I needed to talk about because it really was something that stuck on mind. I recently watched some of the episodes, which I found like a website online that streams it. Just to see what it was like again. And yeah, it was a good show. It still, still was pretty entertaining at this age of 15. And yeah, you know, stuff like that. It was just a good show and stuff like that. That's all I think. Of. That's all I think I really gonna say, guys. Comment down below if you think that this show helped grow skateboarding. In my opinion, I think it really, 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 really helped grow skateboarding. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, comment your thoughts. Comment if you want me to do another talking video like this, like a little bit about why skateboarders hate scooters, other stuff like that, on and on and on. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, like I said earlier. And pe 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 peace. Out.